All right. All right, everyone. We're going to gather for the award ceremonies. If you'd work your way to the bleachers up front, our judges will be coming through here as well. We will award the trophies. Hear a little bit about our trophy winners. And then a little bit from Jacob, a very wide space to speak to. All right, where are our judges? I know they're around. I know where one. Oh, good. Would you join us up here? Marvelous. Oh, good. Dr. Z's here, too. All right, wonderful. All right, wonderful. Excellent. So um, we're going to do this pretty standard way as, as we congratulate the teams. Uh, we'll have them come up to, uh, to check in with the judges and receive the reward. You can do whatever you're comfortable with, fist bumping, elbow bumping, waving, whatever COVID-friendly way you want to greet each other, including just kind of a polite nod. Um, but you can come up to the left side here, to your left, and uh, we'll, we'll get you your awards. I wanted to briefly, first off, thank our five judges. I was so excited to have all of them here. We had Gary Golnick, who's our head judge. Um, he's worked with high energy lasers for 40 years and the James Webb Space Telescope, which is about to launch on what, the 22nd? Awesome. So he's here. We have Jessica Delavala, who's the director of Project Succeed over in Conway. Um, and she has uh, also coached and led robotics groups in the first program, one of the other robotics programs. We've got James Cousins, who works for Rapid Insight. He's a data analyst, and uh, I'm going to get that wrong. Works with predictive modeling and data analysis for Rapid Insight. We've got Dr. Yvette Emery, who's a molecular biologist working at Maine Med and working on some uh, clinical trials for long COVID. And we've got Dr. Warren Ziegler, who's a space technologist at USM working on small satellite systems. We know Dr. Z because when he was here at FA, he ran the CubeSat Club and tried to send lots of tiny, tiny little spacecraft into space with our students. So anyway, we got some great judges and they spent the day here just to kind of help out the kids. Um, yeah, to give them a round of applause. I'm going to hand the mic over to uh, Gary, and uh, he will tell you more about our Judges Award and Design Award, and then we'll do the Skills and Tournament Champions, and finally the Judges again will do the Excellence Award. So here you go, Gary Golnick. Okay, so the Judges Award is uh, kind of our discretionary award. Um, team that displays special attributes, overcomes obstacles, distinguishes themselves in some ways, demonstrates teamwork and effective communication skills. And I lost my voice. Oh, there it is down there. Okay, so the. Uh, we thought this team did a, uh, a phenomenal job across all of the categories. And so the judges award goes to the Baconators from Monmouth Memorial School in 93303R. Great job, guys. Great job. Keep working hard. The uh, next award that we're going to present is the Design Award. 
Uh, this was very, very close. There were five teams that were in competition and the separation among them was um, very, very small, but there was one clear winner. Oh, there you got me, okay. So the design award goes to the Autobots from Monmouth Academy. All righty, now it's my turn. Uh, I haven't been on mic all day. This is a change. I don't know if I like it, though. You probably do. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my name is Jacob Bullier. I'm with the REC Foundation and the Robotics Institute of Maine. So I kind of have a couple different hats. Um, able to work with the REC Foundation to put on this, these events and support our awesome event partners throughout the state um, to make sure that all the students are able to play as much as they'd like. So uh, first off, I want to uh, take a second to thank you to Foxcroft Academy and everybody here that put on this event. So thank you very much for putting on another amazing event. And also to all the volunteers that came from all around, thank you for coming and again, putting on an awesome event for the students and specifically to uh, Hunter and crew from Black Bear. Um, you guys are show a lot of dedication and do a lot to help run events in Maine. And then swapping over to my Robotics Institute of Maine hat, um, we're very fortunate to have a lot of different companies supply grants that we can use to fund to help fund teams and help fund these events and bring a trailer around to help all the event partners. So I just want to extend a thank you to all of our awesome sponsors. Um, for helping do everything that we can. <laughs> Carrying forward with the awards, we have our two tournament champions, but before we get there, let's do our robot skills champion. So, robot skills uh, changed a handful of years ago. It used to be two different awards, now it is combined into one. There are two different pieces to our robot skills competition. The autonomous portion that is all pre-programmed, the students literally just press a button, the robot goes and does its thing on the field, all pre-programmed, really cool stuff. And then the driver skills, which takes the skill of the students controlling via uh, the controller, their robot, and accomplishing the same task. So it takes those two scores, combines them, and that's the total robot skills score. So today, with a score of 200, combined score of 200, the Robot Skills Champion is presented to Team 344R, the meme team from Scarborough. Come on down. Feels like a revolving door. That was fun. All right, and then we have our tournament champions. These are the teams that were overall victorious in today's event. So let's hear it for team 603A Junkyard from Belmont High School and 2142E Flat Earth Society from John Baps Memorial High School. A true interstate alliance.
All right, awesome. Thank you so, so much for coming out today. Um, I just want to share one more thing. As we were starting to pack up and the event was winding down, uh, all of my volunteers were talking about how polite and helpful all of you were with getting things packed up and helping get us cleaned up. And this is huge. This is part of why this all works. We are very, very appreciative of you coming. We know it's a big deal. We're appreciative of the work that you and your students do. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for Black Bear and RIM and the Rec Foundation and the judges and all of my volunteers who I will not attempt to name properly, but we appreciate all of it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and a safe drive home. Congratulations to the kids. Nice work, students.